the Chief of Naval Operations, Admiral Jonathan Greenert, and Master Chief Petty Officer of the Navy, Mike Stevens, recently held an all-hands call in Norfolk, Virginia, and spoke to sailors about sequestration and the continuing resolution. The talk of the town in Washington is continuing resolution and sequestration. and We are getting close to maybe being sequestered. And I'll just give you a little blurb on this. First of all, what I want you all to understand, a couple of things. Number one, it won't affect your pay. Okay? Number two, it won't affect your retirement. Number three, it won't affect your medical coverage. Number four, it won't affect tuition assistance. It's not in, in the manner there. So number five, and I only have one hand, so we'll just go with five, family programs will not be affected. The situation is this. We, the, the Congress did, uh, did not authorize and appropriate, they did not provide, if you will, a spending bill in this fiscal year of 13. And when that happens, you take your previous year, that amount of money, and you move it over the next year, and you say, here you go, just continue that, and that's called a continuing resolution. But our issue is, we need about four and a half billion dollars more. That's about 10 percent of the, of the operations budget. We need about four and a half billion dollars in operations more in 13 than we did in 12. Okay, so we gotta figure out how to make that up until we get a bill. Okay, so number one, we need to get a bill, and in the meantime, we've got to figure out how to spend less because we may not get a bill, depending on deliberations. So we need to tighten the belt. Sequestration can take effect in March if Congress does not agree on a spending bill. CNO and McPon will hold another all-hands call in San Diego January 31st. From the Defense Media Activity, I'm Petty Officer Ashley Hedrick.